I want to talk about some of the um, rumors and aspects of silver as far as what would, its role will play in an economic collapse. A lot of people are buying physical silver because they think or they fear that the um, entire economic system may come down. Now that may be true. That may be true because I'm very old school and I'll probably interject right here right now. I remember a particular line from um, former KGB major Anatoly Galitsyn uh, that you know you know after the uh, Soviet Union came down that it's just a game you know it's just a ruse that the real game the waiting game is waiting for a total economic collapse in the West um, you know I would almost think I just want to interject here because you know this is kinda of like doom and gloom news here you know but um, that probably is correct it's probably all planned too who the hell knows it may be and um, but I do want to interject that silver is not your only safety neither is just like silver and gold or physical metals I'm primarily into physical metals also now I've been in the uh, financial world in the accounting world and uh, you know different levels and I've been around people that are you know pretty wealthy and stuff but um, you know if you told them to go into physical metals they think you're crazy you know that's how they think I disagree with them but I also know that the whole world is not going to cave in and everybody has to go into physical metals in order to have uh, their wealth survive intact and I want to point out some common sense things you know people think paper is paper paper represents something it's dishonest paper that's the problem now where paper can go worthless in one particular general class of assets is government debt government bonds governments will default Mark Farber says this and you know I'm not just following Mark Farber I see the absolute logic behind that governments are going to default and that's actually where a lot of the wealth is actually concentrated in and invested in when you look at most of the wealth in this country it rests with people six, age 65 and older and they have it in only safe secure assets a lot of it is government debt that type of stuff bonds treasury notes and they're gonna get wiped out that's really who's going to get clobbered more than anybody. The ultra wealthy are not going to get wiped out. They're going to make out like a fat rat. Most of them. You know, I know the story about Madoff and the old people he ripped off. They had a lot of money. They're not really the ultra wealthy. They're not the shrewdest. I would have never trusted that snake in a million years. I have a very good sense about me in a lot of different ways. And, uh, you know, I told some. Yeah, well, let me put it this way, I'll brag a little bit, but people I work for as an accountant and a financial guy, whatever you want to call it, you know, as their head guru in the accounting, I was the one that I think really pushed their wealth up many, many, many times. They really, a lot of them really weren't that wealthy and went past $100 million. So... I don't think it was their brains that did a lot of it. I think it was a lot of mine. So I'll, I'll toot my own horn on that shit. But I think I have a very good sense of what's going to happen. Now, as far as paper, China, I think, is gonna, always going to remain strong. There's going to be downturns. And watching downturns is very important to watching the metals movements because if there's ever a severe downturn in China, silver is going to have a serious crash. Now, obviously, Silver's crashed already, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think it's got much more. To, if if there's going to be another correction right smack now, it's not going to be too long. I'm talking about when silver starts making some real headway and it goes up to like $75 or something. I don't know. If you just watch China, watch all the factors, watch when there's going to be a pullback. I'm going to try to guess this game and make profit off of it rather than just try to retain wealth. I want to move in and out, move in and out. Now, talking about paper, take a company like PetroChina. 
you own stock in this company yes it's a piece of paper but you know you're talking about a company you own a piece of that has physical assets that sell into the world and a very vital commodity which is crude oil you're not going to go down in that stock if the American uh, money starts going to um, becoming more and more worthless the stock is going to go up a lot more and it's actually going to be the essential stocks are going to go up more and more and you know looking at the total assets of this company um, they're, they're astronomical they're astronomical I mean this is in billions that's not millions it's like three zero these are all reported I think in uh, thousands of dollars and uh, so and they're going up they're going up this company is doing extremely well so if you own a share in this company yeah it says it's a piece of paper but it is a share it is actual share of the actual company just make sure you pick your ass your company's correct now I was going to show Silver Wheaton on here and I started thinking no, I don't want to show that one because actually I want to show a company I think might do well in the silver mining I think they're doing very well right now it might be a good stock to own not trying to really make a recommendation for it but you know if you actually do a little bit of a silver stock this one's not a bad one Endeavor Silver down mainly down in Mexico and they're shooting for more and more silver production now a little common sense if you think silver is your only financial safety and everybody's going to be running to physical silver how well do you think of a share in a mining stock is going to do for companies that actually produce it you know I'd rather be owning a little factory that produced silver out of the ground versus having the coins in my pocket <laughs> I mean really that's way more important that's way more important you want something that actually produces something and uh, another thing that people are going to need is food so another good company probably might be potash corporation you know um, you know various sectors like this that are very essential to just people can't do without certain things like food and energy uh, and maybe silver you know maybe silver too so companies that produce these things if you own a share in this of a stock in them you're really not going to go to oblivion on that and that will be a piece of paper but the thing is it's not it's a piece of paper that really represents something it really represents something now I want to talk a little bit about say there is this economic collapse because you know some people they got this big loud mouth about physical silver I'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna be the first people there and get ripped off that's what's gonna happen because let's hope there's no economic collapse because what is gonna happen is there's gonna be a lot of robberies left and right just people are just gonna have to survive and, and uh, this is actually from um, uh, I'll post a link it's about Argentina's economic collapse and you know I just had to highlight this one line it goes because the guy says from his own experience if I had a dollar for each time a person that got robbed and told me they look like normal people dressed better than we are honestly I would have enough money to buy a nice gun yeah I guess it's gonna be like the Wild West if it goes down in that scenario and um, a word to you wise um, you never wanna ever flaunt money you always want to play poor you always want to play low-key even some of the biggest operations in the world sometimes were through very low-key scenarios it's usually the people that flaunt big bucks lose it they do I've seen this many times or you know they talk about oh they got deep pockets that means they're wasteful <laughs> that's the way I interpret that so you know I look at every detail I never you know and actually I'll, I'll look at um, turning over every stone any place that can make a profit that's the way I work so you know and uh, the Argentine lesson actually is uh, pretty good because you know if you got physical silver it's gonna be kind of tough to exchange it for anything in a lot of ways because you know there's gonna be a lot of people out ready to take it from you so let's just hope it doesn't go to that situation where it's total economic collapse now in a good strong economy silver's an industrial metal 
Remember what happened in 1979. There was not an economic collapse. That is not why silver went up. Silver went up a lot in 1979 because there was a lot of inflation kicking in. But the unemployment rate was very low and the production was very high. There was a lot of industrial demand. A lot of the commodities went up. But in a scenario where commodities are all going up because there's easy credit or something like that, or there's inflation, and you know they're pumping more money into the system, silver might be one of your best performing assets going. But not necessarily too great in times of economic collapse. In real economic collapse, food storage is probably going to be one of your most important. And also, it could actually be items of necessity besides food. Silver is something, you know, people have this dream in their head that it's going to be monetized again. It's not going to actually be monetized, but I think in the future there's going to be a point in time where it's going to be worth a hell of a lot more money. Now, that's going to be a tricky part when they actually sell it. And quite obviously, not everybody's going to win at that game. Actually, to win at that game, most people are going to lose at the game. That's why I keep saying the majority are probably going to get fleeced at one point in time. Probably not the people that are listening to me because like, it seems like a lot of people listening to me are kind of wise to that. You know, that it's going to go up, 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 up and it's going to crash. And it, but nobody really knows exactly how high the damn stuff is going to go. So nobody really knows exactly when to sell it. But I always like to recommend, you know, true wealth for actual people is to keep pushing this hemp idea. Because, um, you know, I know people like to push the idea that somehow silver is going to make everybody wealthy. It's not. It might protect your wealth. Like if you had your money in fiat dollars, fiat dollars can go down tremendously in value. And it will. Maybe not right away, but it will over the next few years. It will. And silver is going to be a way to protect your money. And gold probably too. I'm sure gold is. But... If, um, you know, the downturn, I mean, if, you know, the other thing is for true wealth, to make true wealth, it's probably going to be through the best way I would like to recommend is through the hemp product. Because that's something that um, would solve our energy crisis. It would also thwart all the stupid plans of all these uh, greenhouse gases and carbon taxes and, you know, the global carbon tax, the, you know, the carbon credits. And all this stupid controls they put on by the EPA about every damn thing there is, um, it would alleviate all that because, you know, hemp could actually provide all the fuel we need for our cars. It could provide, you know, many of the materials we use for steels and plastics. It could provide food and it could provide medicine. So, you know, but they won't grow it in this country because it's illegal. And you know why they're doing that, because they got an entrenched racket. So, you know, I'd almost like to deflect some of the uh, silver emphasis over to more emphasis on this hemp product, because I think that actually will give the people true wealth, versus, you know, silver, which can preserve your wealth. Silver can make you a lot of money if you time the market correctly. But obviously, most people aren't going to do that. Most people are going to get it wrong. I'm hoping to get it right, but I don't know if I can or not. I might. I probably will fairly well. And um, But, you know, in the times of uh, an economic collapse, let's just hope it doesn't go to that because that's not going to even help your silver price as much. Remember, silver prices went up in good economic times, strong economic times, strong industry. Now, if there's an economic collapse in the West and silver prices go up because there's strong industry in China, well, that might not be too cool, too, because, say, for instance, uh, China decides to take something over in the United States like physical assets because they're mad because uh, the USA reneged on their debt. Uh, what are you going to do then, you know, with your physical silver? So let's hope this crazy scenario, which may be not so crazy, I, you know, it might happen, you know, with the economic collapse, but it's got a lot more uh, problems associated with that and just having physical coins in your pocket 
is not going to be the whole solution because, you know, like I pointed out with Argentina here, you know, there was a lot of robberies and a lot of physical violence that went on when there was an economic collapse. You know, it, like number one, it goes, those that want to harm you, steal from you, don't come with a pirate flag waving over their heads, you know, they, they might come like a really nice person, you know. Neither do they start shooting at you 200 yards away, you know. And they don't come riding in loud bikes or dressed with their orange convict just escaped from prison jumpsuits so that you can identify them better. It goes like, in other words, and I repeat this again, if I had a dollar for each time a person that got robbed and told me they look like normal people dressed better than we are, honestly, I would have enough money to buy a nice gun. And, you know, it's like, you know, you, you just hope it doesn't go to that situation. I hope it doesn't either, but... It could, you never know. But uh, for now, I'm just going to play the thing, a game like uh, Time in the Market. And, um, you know, I am mainly in physical silver, but, you know, if you talk to anybody with some serious money, they're not. But, you know, their money will be protected because they're going to be in stuff like Petro China or Endeavor Silver or Potash Corporation. You know, products, you know, if they're shrewd and they're into the right areas, um, they're going to be in products that are areas that are going to move up because these are products that people need. So, you know, they might not be buying houses. They might not be buying new cars. They might not be buying any big ticket asset prices. But they're always going to be buying food and they're always going to be buying energy. So usually stocks or shares in companies that produce these things are in solid companies. They're going to do well in inflationary times. Now, yes, I know there's another question that comes into being because, you know, the stock prices could outpace inflation, but then they can crash at one point in time, and, you know, you'd have to try to time to get out of there, you know. Usually the golden rule is basically if you're, if you're way the hell ahead, get most get at least half of it out. That's my basic rule. I mean, once you start getting way the hell ahead, if you've got a double on something, you, you you should get out, but, you know, always plan your next move. For instance, like even if you sold silver and you decided to get into another stock or you went into a stock or something like that, and silver got way ahead of itself and doubled, and you went into a stock that seemed like it was depressed, and it was in a company that was still solid, and it was in an area that should take off. Like say it was, you know, say it was this potash corporation giving fertilizer to agriculture, and say the stock was down and silver was up. Well, as long as you plan your next move correctly, you're still going to make money. You're still going to make money. But let's just hope it doesn't go to the Argentina situation because uh, if you got physical silver, um, your problems are probably just starting. And uh, you're going to have to worry about how you're going to keep that stuff. So let's just hope it doesn't go to that situation.